started in 2005 and it was basically, um, it was identified that in the UIC College of Medicine there were certain things that the medical school wasn't covering as deeply as we thought should be covered, particularly for medical students that wanted to dedicate their practice to serving underserved urban communities. And there are a lot of issues, as we know, um, that plague our urban communities. Um, a lot of inequalities, um, a lot of violence, a lot of substance abuse that well happens in all our communities. Unfortunately, um, not to stigmatize specific ones, but for our students, they really are going into medicine because they want to work with the most most underprivileged um, communities. And so, uh, we're trying to pro the, the urban medicine program. The mission is to develop physician leaders that will serve urban underserved communities. Um, yeah, so it's uh, it's moving from a deeper service system where, you know, I'll, I'll do something you pay me to do it, to value, like what, what are the options of my population, what they do it or not, are we managing? That's really where we're headed. So your chances are, your salaries will be driven much more uh, by the value of the care that you're providing, not the quality of the patients that you see. Not that you're not going to have to work, I'm sure that that's always going to be a goal. But it's not going to be when we interview our students, and so this is a program in addition to medical school, so mm -hmm. they have to be able to handle an additional curriculum. They don't get excused from any of the regular curriculum. So we really have to screen for folks that, you know, not only can academically handle it, but that really have shown a history of commitment to um, to underserved communities. And then, um, you know, we do uh, statistically graduate more students that want to go into primary care because a lot of there is more attention paid typically in family medicine and um, pediatrics and so forth to the issues of, of more uh, community life but um, you know they, they may become any any type of specialty we do have some um, that go into to surgery into radiology into um, you know and then a computer decides where we go what do you want to go I no, no, yes. You don't have a number one choice? We'll I, have, I have ideas and programs that I'd like to show you, but... Okay. Our lists are technically new tonight, so we're all experiencing high quality. Okay, that's all right. So we went to the community for real. We were in a church, Bethany Church, where these two recovery organizations um, teach. Foundation was one of them and then EDDR, I had to write it down, Education, Design, Development, and Research Corps. So you all met with them. They had their staff there, the pastor of the church sat with us that afternoon, um, and they had people in recovery that talked and with pizza. us. And they fed us. It's a possibly you got pizza. I give power to what it is that I don't want to use. So if I say I can't drink, I would give power, so much power, that every time I saw a beer commercial, my stomach would flip, or I would uh, feel the taste in my mouth, you know? And so because that's what I focus on. I kept claiming what I did not want to experience. If I want to experience sobriety, I just start to change the way I think perceptions of what I perceived was happening to me. Whenever I got sober, uh, I would find myself saying, oh, you know what? Uh, the universe is tempting me, I'm getting challenged, I'm getting tempted, the temptations all around me. And the more I thought that, the more I was uh, uh, craving to use or to drink. Does that make sense? Whatever I'm thinking about. Uh, so this whole day, like what it made me think about was how uh, community as a whole can affect, can affect uh, an individual's health. Um, medically and also like uh, with addiction and how it could uh, lead to recovery. So uh, how public health is not just uh, policy for uh, being able to allow patients to uh, to access to health care but also uh, how public health can mean like access to better housing, access to better nutrition, um, uh, like life in general. That's what I took about today. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I really appreciated today. I felt like um, the way that it was structured, uh, beginning kind of getting an overview of uh, mental illness in the United States, the issues that that are impacting it, and and also sort of new ideas in, in how to, to combat it and help the patients who are dealing with mental illness, were uh, actually pretty profound and uh, is going to change the way that I look at um, how to treat patients in the future.
Um, especially revolving around uh, basically integrated community uh, support systems and the way the programs are utilizing a, a, a holistic approach to treat addiction, not only to to break the addiction, but also just to allow people to discover their or basically reach their full potential uh, and enjoy life. And then the afternoon session was was also fantastic because we got to see that in uh, action, literally, and so that was pretty powerful. So I just feel like it helped inform the way that I'll be able to advocate for patients as a physician in the future. You know, because one of the things we need to get away from is thinking that a medical doctor is the end all be all and can do everything, both in the mind of the medical student right. and everybody else. It's yes. too much for them, yes. you know, and, and we can't expect to add on these things and, and you know, that, that kind of hierarchy, I think we need to see it more as a team and, and right. there's been more of a systems push towards that, but there's still a culture that we need to change around that and I think we have an opportunity when they're in training yes. that if we give the message to them yes. that, that in the context of our academic institution, we support the collaborations, we see that there's an important role, then they'll realize, oh, this was part of my education, that's how I've been taught. Yes. And they will then go out and practice in that way. Well